Hello ladies and gentlemen and happy new year from everyone at Oliver James. So we have completed 2019 and we are on to 2020. So here's a rundown of the market for 2019. I'll discuss here the best and worst months of the year and maybe more importantly see how the market reacted to ongoing uncertainty in the country with issues like Brexit. So let's get straight into my favourite subject, stats. I'm going to be concentrating on two main figures and that is sales agreed and amount of properties listed. It'll be interesting to see what the best months for each will be in 2019. In 2018, the best month for properties put on the market was March with 52 houses and the best month for sales was April and June, which both had 35 sales in them. Let's see how we got on this year. So some interesting months there to look at, with March being poor with a drop of 18% in listings and 29% down for sales. As mentioned earlier, March was the busiest month in 2018 for listings, whereas in 2019 it was May which jumped up a huge 51% in listings and 13% in sales. The two busiest months for sales in 2018, joint first was April and June. 2019 saw the best two months of July and October. That just shows you how unpredictable the market was. I would like to look at the amount of reduction in 2019 and that was at a high of 180 properties between all agents. However, one agent reduced almost 80 properties by themselves, whereas a company like mine, Oliver James, reduced just 23. Overpricing property, albeit sometimes good to test the market, often scares away buyers, takes longer to sell and then you do look more desperate should you reduce your property by tens of thousands of pounds month by month. I'm proud to say Oliver James achieved around 99% of asking price for the whole of 2019, with the average of the area being just 96%. That was down to some great sales like the record breaker on Boat Lane, which went for just over £18,000 over asking price. So overall, if we add all the figures up for 2019, how did it compare to the year before? Well, not too much different. Instructions were down 1% and sales were up 1%. So pretty much the same. What's in store for 2020? Well, hopefully less uncertainty with Brexit. The market has started stronger and we are listing and selling record numbers since the election result just before Christmas. If you have any questions, please message me and I'll be happy to help anytime. Have a great 2020 and I'll see you again soon.